హలో ఎవ్రీవన్ అండ్ వెల్కమ్ టు అన్నదర్ ఎపిసోడ్ ఆఫ్ మసాలా చాయ్ అండ్ చెస్ విత్ నిషా టుడే ఇస్ ద బర్త్ డే ఆఫ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద మోస్ట్ లవ్డ్ ఉమెన్ గ్రాండ్ మాస్టర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా మీనాక్షి సుబ్బరామన్ మీను యాజ్ షీ ఈస్ ఫాండ్లీ కాల్డ్ ఇస్ అ వెరీ గుడ్ ఫ్రెండ్ ఎవర్ సిన్స్ మై చైల్డ్హుడ్ వీ హ్యావ్ బీన్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఆఫ్ ద బోర్డ్ అండ్ ఎనిమీస్ ఆన్ ద బోర్డ్ అండ్ వీ హ్యావ్ బీన్ టీమ్ మేట్స్ in Asian Games 2010 and Chess Olympiad 2010. Meenu's list of achievements is huge and a list of few for all of you. So she has played the Women World Championship four times, the Chess Olympiad three times and as I mentioned, she has played the Asian Games in Guangzhou in the year 2010. She is the younger sister of India's first woman grandmaster Vijaya Lakshmi Subbaraman and together they are the only woman grandmaster siblings in India. Meenu is an amazing soul and she never even thinks of hurting anyone and that is why she is loved a lot among her peers. Today she is a mother she's a wife she's an office goer and she's a player she's playing all the roles together let's wish meenu a very happy birthday and lots of happiness in life this game was played in a tournament in paris in the year 2010 white is meenakshi and black is maxime lagarde today Maxim Lagarde is a very strong player. He has a rating of 2651, but even at that time he was strong with a rating of 2414. I find it very interesting to show this game of how easily Meenakshi won against him at that time. Very smoothly. Okay, let's get started. D4, Knight F6. bishop c5 the game starts with the trump over ski e6 e4 d5 e5 so the knight on f6 is attacked and it cannot move because of the spin here so black plays at 6 and here meenakshi played bishop c1 i think she was playing some original chess because normal would be bishop e3 this is more natural but she was just playing something different something original knight of d7 was played knight of 3 c5 c3 knight c6 so we see that we have the french structure on the board and in this structure black tries to pile up on the d4 pawn this you know going to be more pressure on the d4 pawn let's see bishop d3 was played here but instead bishop e2 is also possible just keeping the d4 guarded meanu went bd2 bd3 queen b6 and here meenakshi went for an interesting pawn sack with castles normal in this position would be to play bishop c2 and uh, here black black gets the equality with c into d4 cd4 knight b4 and so on but meenu went for a pawn sack castles c into d4 c into d4 knight into d4 knight into d4 queen into d4 so she gave her central pawn but she wants quick development knight c3 and here she offers another pawn which was captured now this game is a very good example of how to handle this kind of pawn hunting in the opening especially with king in the center so after queen into e5 we actually played rook e1 and the queen has to make a decision where to go this is very typical in french that you know white gives these pawns and gets very good compensation so we see the same thing here in similar structure almost the same structure 
So black played after rook e1, black played queen b8. Instead, if black goes queen d6, there is knight b5. White keeps disturbing the queen. And the problem is that, uh, for example, if queen b6 here, there is bishop f4 and knight c7 is coming. And instead, after knight b5, if black goes queen b8, white has two interesting choices here. White can simply go queen g4 with bishop f4 to follow, which is very strong. But instead, white can also go for something very flashy with bishop g6. This is also a very nice idea. And the point is, I'll just show you very briefly. Uh, the point is, after fg6, there is rook into e6 and king f7, there is queen d5 leads to a very, very strong attack. For knight f6, rook f6 can be captured. It's very strong. So, I mean, okay, white has a choice to go for this or just to play simply queen g4 in an earlier position after queen b8. And after bishop f4, white is very good. So, let's come back to the game after rook e1. Black played queen b8. And white took knight into d5. Already white has a winning attack. White is a pawn down. But look at black's pieces. Everything, almost everything is on the first rank. And especially the king is in the center, which is very dangerous. Bishop d6 was played here. Queen g4. So white is attacking the pawn on g7. There is some threats on e6 coming. And... Black played king f8. Instead of king f8, if black goes g6, there is rook into e6. It's very, very dangerous. There are no pieces near black's king to help him. So, in the game after queen g4, king f8 was played. And white played a nice move, queen h4. And if you notice, in this position, white is threatening a maid on d8 f6 was played here. Note that g5 is not possible because of bishop into g5. Uh, this rook does not have a support, so g 5 cannot be taken. So queen h4, black played f6 in the position, and white went rook into e6. Knight e5 was played, and here came a shot. The rook is not trapped. The rook came for the kill, rook into f6, g into f6, queen into f6. Knight f7 was played here, bishop g6. Here, black played bishop e6. And in this position, Minu played bishop f7 and black can already resign. It's completely gone. I'll come back to the game. But for those who love to look for mates, can you find a mate in 3 in this position? Like there's a 4 sequence of moves and it's a clear mate in 3. But okay, uh, I mean anything is winning here. It's a very good position for white. But it's always nice to, you know, go for a forced mate here. So if you want, you can pause. I'll go forward and show the mate in three. So there was this nice move, queen h8 check, knight into h8, bishop h6, king g8, knight f6. It's a pretty mate, that's why I thought of showing it. But okay, after bishop f7 played in the game, already black is in a position to resign. So uh, here black played two more moves, bishop h2 check, king h1, Queen e5. And note here that bishop into f7 is not possible because of queen h8. So in this position, black played queen e5 and queen e7. Black resigned here because the point is black is getting checkmated. After king g7, bishop e6, king g6, and a mate with. Queen f7. And note how smoothly Meenakshi won this game. And especially it feels nice that the opponent, Maxime Lagarde, is today a super grandmaster with a rating of 2651. Very nice victory.
This is a position from a game where Meenakshi is white and black is Tania Sachdev. This was the Indian National Women Championship in the year 2009 where Meenakshi really played very well. Now this position looks completely winning for white but winning positions are not always easy to win. You might really think that there are more than one ways for white to play and that is correct but can you find the best way which Meenakshi chose here and uh, I really like the winning combination from here. It's really very beautiful. I'll have my masala chai. So here Meenakshi played e6 and it's a very nice move because it cuts off the black queen from the f5 pawn and if you didn't find this move pause now and try to think what white wants to do after knight into e6 it's a very pretty combination and a very nice exercise for calculation so for those of you who have seen it, who already calculated it, you can go forward or if you just want to enjoy the game, you can just see it. So in this position, black took the pawn knight into e6. Instead, if black plays queen d6 here, there is this short knight into f5, g into f5, queen f5. This king on g8 is in a very horrible state. So in the game, knight into e6 was played. White took knight into e6, rook into e6, rook into e6, queen into e6 and white played queen d4. So white is threatening a mate on g7 and also bishop d5 pinning the queen. So in this position black has to go queen e5 to defend against the threat of mate on g7. Bishop d5 check and here black has to go king get shared and in this position this is my masala chai moment can you find the only winning move for white in this position. Here Meenakshi played a very nice move which I find not very easy to see in these kind of positions. Bishop e3. Psychologically it's not easy to move a bishop from h6 and come back to e3. Because you know h6 looks like a very nice square. You are controlling the important g7 square. But bishop e3 is very very nice, very very powerful. Here black took, uh, sorry, black played rook d8. Black cannot take. If uh, black takes queen d4, there is bishop d4. Yeah, this is over. So, rook d8. And uh, another nice move here. Bishop c4. And uh, the point is, after rook into d4, this was played in the game, of course. Bishop into d4. Queen into d4. C into d4. Bishop c4. Finally, the combination is over and uh, white is completely winning now if you you know notice this this combination started on move number 27 and this is move number 35 and it was a very pretty it was very forcing line that's why very good to calculate especially the bishop e3 move was very attractive let's see how the game went from here rook c1 was played bishop d5 Rook c5 attacking the bishop again, bishop e4, d5, past pawns must be pushed, king g7, d6, king f6. And here again, Ninakshi played a very nice move, rook e5, cutting off the black king. Uh, you'll notice that uh, king into e5 is not possible because d7 and the pawn is queening. So after rook e5, black played bishop c6. Rook e7, h6, 
वाइट वेंट एच फोर जी फाइव रुक एच सेवन एंड हियर तानिया रिजाइंड एंड यू नो दिस दिस प्रेडिक कॉम्बिनेशन आई फर्स्ट शो यू वट इज हैपनिंग सो बेसिकली हियर वाइट हैज दिस थ्रेट ऑफ रुक इन टू एच सिक्स वाइट हैज दिस थ्रेट ऑफ डी सेवन सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ किंग जी सिक्स वाइट कैन चूज वाइट कैन इधर प्ले डी सेवन और वाइट कैन प्ले रुक इन टू बी सेवन एवरीथिंग इज वेरिंग फॉर वाइट हियर सो या आफ्टर रुक एच सेवन तानिया रिजाइंड एंड आई थिंक दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी नाइस फिनिश वेरी नाइस गेम बाय मीनाक्षी एंड स्पेशली रियली द यू नो द कॉम्बिनेशन स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम ई सिक्स वेरी वेरी प्रेटी स्पेशली आई लाइक दिस मूव बिशप ई थ्री इन दिस पोजिशन very nice victory by meenakshi i hope you all enjoyed this episode let's wish meenakshi a very happy birthday and lots of happiness in her life if you all like this video do share it with your friends and let's spread this positivity see you next time bye bye